happy Tuesday. <sighs> I had the windows open today. <laughs> it's like, it's like kind of like humid, muggy, rainy, misty outside. Is it like, I don't know. That's a weird description, but that's just what it's doing outside. But it's kind of warm too. So like I was in my back bedroom and I was putting on my makeup and I came back out here and I'm like, woo, it's kind of muggy in the house. It's like, wow, I'm gonna have to turn some fans on or something because it's gonna get a little steamy in here. The temperature is supposed to drop though because we're supposed to get like a cool front coming in. So it probably won't last long, but I do have the window open in here in our bedroom and I have the window open in the kitchen. Kind of hoping to get a little bit of a cross breeze, even though the window aren't cross from each other, but whatever anyway today is tuesday <clears throat> so today's goal is to again complete christmas decorations get that stuff done and up and hopefully finished today for the most part then i have a whole bunch of stuff that i need to carry upstairs to the storage room uh which is in the house it used to be my craft room and then um, I'm going to make up my bed here first. I'm going to dry my hair. I'm going to get myself together and presentable. Um, the installers are coming today to install our hot water heater. I did manage to take a shower this morning because there's still hot water in the hot water heater, but it is leaking and it's not like super hot like I like, but it, it was enough just to get me by for a shower today. So I'm happy about that. So I was happy that I was able to get into a shower this morning. It just makes me feel so much better if I can like just take a shower and I didn't want to be like yucky and grubby today. So, um, Yay, shower. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know too a little bit about that recipe that I posted yesterday and I will actually post it again today. So it'll be in the description box below if you guys are interested in that crab meat dip that I made. Yes, the crab meat, it said to use a pound of the crab meat, but I did not use a pound of it. I just used that one can and off the top of my head, I don't know how many ounces that can was or is, but I didn't use the pound because number one, I will be honest, I did not even see it say a pound of crab meat. But even if it, even if I would have seen that, I probably still would have only used the one can only because I just wanted to make sure that we liked it or that I even liked it before I added extra crab meat in there. So I would probably um, add more obviously because it definitely could use more. Um, and Brian actually loved it last night too. When he came home, he tried it and he said it was so good. So I was really happy about that. So that is a definite like plus on my end because it's a, it's a quick, easy like dip to make and it tastes so good when it's warmed up so that is something that i'm going to be munching on again today so again if you guys are interested in it i will leave a link to it in the description box below or actually i wrote it out so i'll just leave it whole the whole thing there and i'll just copy and paste it for you guys that way you guys can have it um if most of you guys um you new and you're joining me now hello my name is angie <laughs> and um, i am behind on getting my christmas decorations and stuff up but i am getting there um, i also am going to be home today and tomorrow getting all of that stuff done i have a party that i'm hosting here on friday night it is a girls gathering here at my house we um, have been doing this every year kind of since i moved here um, it's been at different locations though but the past two years i've had it here and i host it which is really nice and everybody brings a oh my phone hold on just a second Alrighty, so that was Lowe's calling me to let me know that the installer should be calling me soon and they actually already did they called me before he called and I this is what kind of like it's been like kind of a nightmare. They were actually supposed to be out yesterday to do this, or somebody was actually supposed to call me yesterday to do this, to set this up for today. Well, I hadn't heard anything. And so I had to call them this morning and say, hey, what's the deal, what's going on? And so then the installers called and they said, oh, well, we don't have anybody to come out and do it today. And I'm like, I paid the extra $150 just so we could have an emergency installation because our hot water heater is out. So 
and we need that. And the guy's like, well, we can't get out there until Thursday. And I'm like, yeah, that's unacceptable because I paid the extra 150. So I ended up calling Lowe's and talking to the guy who sold me the hot water heater. And he was super, super nice about it. And he's like, no, absolutely. He goes, you paid the extra 150. They need to be out there. He goes, so I will definitely contact the, you know, main headquarters of whatever the installators do and um he goes they'll, they'll be out there today and i said okay great so the guy called me and said they'll be out here between two and four o'clock to install the hot water heater which reminds me i have to go outside in the garage too and um, move some stuff around because we have paint all the way like paint cans and stuff around the hot water heater that needs to be moved out but I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to make up the bed so that way I can get that done and out of the way. That way my bed is made and I feel like I'm having a productive day if my bed is made. Yesterday I skipped making the bed and I kept my door closed because I just like did not want to see this room at all because I had did not make up the bed. But making up the bed today, going to have a productive day and then we're going to get started in um, in the kitchen and decorating everything. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So let's make up the bed and get this day started. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.
so I have emptied out all of these totes and decided like if I'm not going to use something obviously I'm just leaving it in there but for the most part all of these totes are empty there's three here there's four there oh my gosh so I only have one more in this room and I actually can I could probably just put that one away too because that one is just garland and I'm not going to be using that those trees I actually need to put away in a bigger tote so I'll probably end up putting them in that blue tote down there and then I'm going to be completely done with that stuff and then I'll have this nightmare to work on <sighs> which is clearing off the table finding homes for these things and then my island in the kitchen finding homes for that stuff and yeah for the most part that'll be it holy crap um i wanted to show you guys these new slippers that i got these are so cute and i will leave a link to them in the description box below you guys like seriously oh my god so freaking cute these are the ugg slippers and i've been wearing them like all morning look how cute they are i love that they have like a little peekaboo toe and that they have like this little um, strap that goes around your ankle i just took them off because i ran outside to go get the mail and i didn't want to wear them outside to get them all yuck so i'm actually putting them on right now and they're so comfortable like walking around the house and they have definitely kept my feet warm even though my feet didn't really need to be warmed up today because it's, it's actually kind of warm outside warm and drizzly i have the air on because it's just that warm outside oh i actually have a tote right here that i need to go through which is right there and i have um two totes in my room that i need to go through as well so those two totes and this pile of laundry that I have to fold. <sighs> things get put on the back burner when I'm busy and crazy doing things around here. But at least I got my kitchen cleaned up. That is a plus. I started gathering out all of my stuff for my cocoa bar that I'm going to try to put together over here. I got all of my mugs out and on my little mug dispenser, hard display thing. And yeah, I'm just, again, just kind of getting a, getting things going. I have a lot of stuff, like a mess here to clean up. I came across some ornaments that I had bought um, like two years ago um, in this bag right here. So I already took those out and put those um, on the tree. And then this one I'm not going to put on the tree. This one was just a little thing that I got when we were in Connecticut this past year. So this is going to go in a tote and get put away. But yeah, for the most part, all this stuff has a home. I just have to put it in its rightful place. So that is what I'm going to be working on for the rest of the day. And then all of my cute little white houses here that I have to put away. And then these were the things that I was saying I'm going to put in the big blue tote and put those away because I really don't need them. Along with the stuff that's in that tote, that's just another set of garland that I'm not going to use. So, yeah. And it's about, you know, lunchtime. So I'm actually going to make some lunch and then get started on the rest of my afternoon getting stuff put away and organized so i have to, to the rest of today i have tomorrow and all day thursday the guys are coming between two and four o'clock which i gotta go do that right now too before i even eat anything because i need to go outside and clear all the paint cans out of the way of the hot water heater so i'm gonna have to go do all that <laughs> <laughs> and I have to carry this stuff upstairs, which I've already been upstairs once today, so I've already started carrying stuff up there, so that's a plus. But <laughs> Would someone come over here and help me put this stuff away, please? Because I'm dead. Like, so dead. So over it right now. Just so over putting this stuff out. But it's going to come together, and it'll look so nice, and I'll have my video up by Saturday. So that's all that matters, and that's all that counts. So yeah all right onward we go Alrighty, so i've really been trying to put this off and i really just don't want to go do it but i have to do it because they're coming to do the hot water heater it's like you know how when you have something to do and you just don't feel like doing it because you're so busy doing something else you don't want to like get involved oh sorry get involved with anything else so i have to come out here to the garage and i have to get this crap out of here and 
All right, this is not gonna be fun. I'm not in the mood for this. I really am not. But, you know how it is. You gotta get stuff done. So this is our garage. My car is parked out underneath the carport. And Brian is supposed to come get these boxes and he hasn't done that yet. And take them out to the garbage. Again, hasn't done that yet. So, so here's the thing. Here is where the hot water heater is at. It's like so full of cobweb. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is the hot water heater. Um, goodbye hot water heater. But these are like all of our paint stuff that we've used like throughout the years, like painting the house and stuff. So ask me a question about like, what the hell is that? I have no clue. Like don't even know. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna like place this stuff, I guess like right there. And I have black paint. I think this was for like a dresser that I use, like I painted the, the dresser like that's in my spare room. So yeah, that's what I did with that. So there's one thing of paint. So let me go ahead and get this paint out of this area, get it all cleaned up out of there. That way when they come, they'll have this whole area to work and get their stuff done. So I'm gonna clean that out. All done. Now all they have to do is pull that thing out and put me a brand new one in there and I will be one happy girl. Yay! Woohoo! We have a new hot water heater. Let's see, it took them about an hour and a half to install it. They got here right at 2 o'clock and it is just now 3.30, which means I am now behind on getting this video up and edited. But I have made a lot, a lot of headway, which I am so thankful for. Um, this table is starting to finally get cleared off. You guys can see this was all full earlier. And um, I still have obviously stuff all over the place, but it's coming along very, very nicely. I will show you guys what I've been doing. Obviously I did my china cabinet. You guys saw that earlier. Not exactly sure I'm gonna keep that red vase there yet. Um, it's just there temporarily just to kind of keep it out of my way until I find a place for it. Um, let's go ahead and walk to the kitchen and see what I have completed there. I started clearing off my island here and kind of filling in my tiered tray. So that's good. My reindeer still are sitting here because those are going to go in the other room. I have filled up that. I've put stuff up there on my refrigerator. Let's see. I have... Um, put stuff up here on top of my cabinets there. I've filled in stuff in here, uh, filled in stuff there, and I'm still working on my cocoa bar area. I'm still not sure how I'm going to work this all out, but I'll probably get some like pictures and ideas from some other people and try to figure it out that way. Uh, my battery's flashing at me too, so I probably better hurry. Um, got this area figured out and this area semi figured out. So that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. If you did, huge thumbs up. And I'll see you guys.